Hey everybody, Toys of Arkham here, back with another review. Uh, you would have seen my last uh, video, if you haven't, go back and check it out. And that was of the DX19 uh, Dark Knight figure that you see here on the Bat Pod. That is, of course, made by Hot Toys. An absolutely fantastic figure. And uh, when I was ordering this off the website KG Hobby, which are an Asian reseller i believe uh their uh, website that i've used plenty of times and if you haven't used them before i'd highly recommend them that dx19 figure was on that website for 250 euro and if i was to go and try and get that in ireland where i live i'd be talking 350 euro easily just for that alone now the real selling point for me was the back pod i didn't have this before it's been reissued and it actually doesn't do very well in terms of sales. It never sells uh, quickly from what I can see. Some people find it a bit of a space killer. But if you're into the Dark Knight and into Batman like I am, to have this paired off with that particular figure here um, is just a, a fantastic display and setup. And of course, Hot Toys are going to be releasing a newer version of Selina Kyle Catwoman from The Dark Knight Rises. And she's going to look fantastic on this too. So you have two reasons to get it. Um, this alone, if I were to buy it again in Ireland, that would be easily about 400, 450 euro. But I got that on KG Hobby during their Christmas or pre-Black Friday Christmas uh, sale for 200 euro. So I got that and that for less than 500 euro. Now, I wouldn't be paying anything less than, as I said, maybe 700, 750, or even 800 euro in Ireland for the two of those. And you're probably wondering, well, did you get stung on customs? Did you get done paying uh, import tax and duties and all the rest? No, I didn't. I hadn't paid, didn't have to pay anything. So um, that's, uh, I suppose, a bit of luck, but um, I didn't. I didn't have to pay anything uh, in terms of import taxes, and I was absolutely delighted. Now, I've ordered a a fair few figures from KG Hobby and I have not had to pay import taxes um, for whatever reason. So I've gotten away with it so many times. I suspect I will be uh, called out on it at some point. But anyway, this is a very quick review of the Bat Pod itself. And you can see Batman here is standing uh, in a fairly uh, neutral pose just on the bike. And that um, is as far as I'm going to go with this figure in terms of trying to get him on the bike for the purpose of this video because I did try it very quickly and it is a nightmare uh, I'm hoping the Catwoman figure is a bit more easy to pose and I can put her on it there's no doubt you could possibly get him on it looking well I've seen blogger pics I've seen people do it I'm just not gonna bother uh, I would for the purposes of videos or photographs, I would just have them beside it or on it like that or holding the uh, various weapons while standing on it like that. I don't, I don't think I'd have them actually hunched over, holding onto handlebars and all that. I just think it would be um, a bit difficult to do, but that's not to say that it's impossible to do. You can do it. I've seen it done. I'm just not gonna do it. So for now, I'm just gonna remove him off the bike and hopefully the bike will uh, stay put hang on i'll actually turn this video off for a second and we're back got batman off it and he's standing up on his display case you probably would have seen there when i was taking him off just earlier that this clipped up and the reason why that happened is because the battery compartment is under there and the batteries uh are turned on just by a little switch on the underbelly of the uh fuselage and they go like that and um, the lights are incredible. They're beam straight out. Some big thick tires on this. It's actually gray and black or silver and black. So it's not all black as you expect some of Batman's vehicles to be. Massive big tires on it. I really like this. Of course, the idea is that this comes out of the front of the tumbler and um, as far as I can see, it's accurate to that. I actually have a 1-6 scale tumbler and these look like the size of the tires. So it's probably done pretty accurately in that respect. 
So the idea is that he hunches over this, leans over the front of it and holds on to these two handlebars, obviously to drive the motorcycle bat pod and also fire these massive cannon guns here. You can see how the paintwork is done here. It looks used to some degree to some sort of scuffing uh, from maybe the heat and um, maybe backfire of, um, I don't know, lead and all the rest from all the gunfire that would come out of that. It certainly doesn't look squeaky clean, as you can see. Really, really cool. So on the front of it itself, there's wires coming out of the handlebars in. Uh, this is like, obviously, <laughs> a really accurate depiction of this um, vehicle. You can see the uh, engine underneath here, the encased engine. And uh, if you turn it around, this is really cool. Now they have a place where you can clip the uh, taser gun for Batman. So he has it here on the side of his bat pod and he'll take it off and shoot at whoever. And uh, that was in the, I think it was in both movies that he used that. But again, you can see this kind of afterburn sort of scuffing, which is really, really cool. show you those lights again so um, just looks very accurate as far as I can see so that's where Batman sits it lies down lies across the front or of course Catwoman and this is it from the back the tires also have sort of dirt on them, so they don't look brand new, they look worn. The whole vehicle looks slightly worn. Um, there were these red clips on the tires to stop it from moving, but I wanted it uh, to be able to be moved, so um, you can see the tires move themselves. The tires are a sort of real thick rubber, so they definitely feel like real tires. Um, and all of this is uh, plastic, but I think you'll agree, sculpted and painted to the point where you wouldn't know that they're plastic. Um, and it's the same with the center sort of panel, that's all plastic too. But yeah, sorry, it's just a, a little quick review. Um, it's a really good vehicle. It's hard to get um, one six scale vehicles. You know, they're just so big, so hard to um to manufacture i'd imagine and assemble and pack and ship because of the size so i mean i don't think these would be the things that companies like hot toys would um look at to make a fortune out of or most of their profits i'd say most of that comes from their figures i'd say these are more just a fees sorry, to please some of their fans. Uh, and uh, I think it's probably just, um, maybe there are some staff members of Hot Toys who just want some of these things brought to life themselves. But I doubt that, of course, it's a business. But anyway, they're in production, they're there. My feeling is that these won't be around for much longer. I think they won't produce these again. So for the sake of 200 euro, like the price I got it for, it was an absolute no brainer. It just had to be bought. And when you pair it up with this Batman uh, and then the Catwoman that's gonna come with it, it really is a no brainer. It, it is big, there's no doubt about it. It's a, it's a big piece. Is it a space killer? Well, that comes, it comes down to what sort of space you have to hand. But um, as a display, it's just brilliant. It's iconic. And uh, I don't think you'd regret it. I really don't. So, as I said, just a quick review. And um, if you have any queries about this, uh, I, I accept that I was very brief with this review, given the enormity of the figure. Or, sorry, the vehicle. But um, if there's any specific queries you have for it, for me in respect to it, just let me know. 
and I will uh, get back to you. So please like and comment and maybe subscribe if you haven't. And I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.